What's up guys, this is Jonah from Intensity Fitness and today I'm back with another video. Today I want to talk about how do you get lean? What's the, what's the keys to get lean? How do you get lean and get that superhero like body? We see it all the time. How do you get lean? In this video, I'm going to be covering just that. Coming up. Hey guys, I'm back and now I'm going to jump right into it. The first thing that I'm going to talk about is the benefits of being lean. What are the benefits of, of having a lean body besides just the look of it, that sexy look of having a lean body? Well, the health benefits of it far outweighs the, the physical part of it. So what happens is as far as having bulky muscle, it's fine to be big and, and, and all that, but in terms of like getting older, you wanna make sure that you can maintain that muscle. And when you have lean muscle, it's a lot easier to do. So we wanna make sure that we're striving for lean muscle, strong, big muscles, but at the same time, it's lean to where we can maintain it and it automatically translate into functional fitness. Where the that those movements that we're using in the gym, we can actually do those same movements outside of the gym. And um, when you have a lean body, it's so much more easy to use that and to be, to have more functionality in your, in your body. And the first key to being lean, having a lean body is, we all know this, drinking water. Now, we know that, that's just the basic, that's the basic, we've been taught that since elementary school, but now, What's common knowledge is not common practice. We have to get back into drinking water, how important it is to drink water. Because it's, it's a lot of times we go for sodas and all types of things like that. Like for instance, common knowledge. We know that it's common knowledge to drink um, water and to eat fruits and vegetables. What, what, are the, what is the first thing we do when we're hungry? We go get a soda, we go get pizza and things like that. Water is the very, very crucial key in having a lean body and getting a lean body and maintaining that lean body. Why is that? The reason why that is is because water is consistently going to push out bad fat from your body. So that way, the, the, you know, your fat won't get stored. It'll constantly keep pushing it. It's almost like, you know, like a, a small pebble. And, going down a stream of water where the water is just pushing it out, pushing it out. The water will consistently keep pushing bad fat out if you keep water in the body. Now, how much? How do we know how much water to drink? Well, they say that it should be uh, eight glasses of water a day. Now, I, I believe that that's not correct because if you have someone who's 75 pounds versus someone who's 200 pounds, well, it's not possible that is going to be sufficient for both both weights. So what do you do? You have to, in ounces, you have to drink half of your body's weight. So if I'm, if you're 200 pounds, you have to drink 100 ounces of water. That's going to ensure that you personally are getting a sufficient amount of water for your body, for your specific body type. That's one. Also, the water is going to aid in digestion. It's going to make sure that it that you're that is processing foods and digesting your foods properly because a lot of times it may not be fat it could just be that you are slim but you have the look of being bigger because of the bloatation now we want to get rid of that water helps with digestion and things like that it also revs up the metabolism but here's the here's the the thing i really love about this drinking water at a specific time of the day has a tremendous benefits. The time I'm talking about is when you first wake up in the morning. When you first wake up, your body is, is empty, obviously, because you've been, you know, asleep for six to eight hours, however long you've been sleeping. But when you first wake up, you want to have two glasses of water. Remember that, two glasses of water. Automatically, what that's going to do is it's going to rev up your metabolism like crazy. It's going to prime your body to 
burn off fat throughout the day constantly. That doesn't mean that you still go out eating bad foods, but it's just gonna it's just gonna rev up your metabolism. It's basically telling your body to prepare to to burn off fat and to, to prepare to to operate at a much uh, faster level and more optimal level in terms of burning off that fat instead of storing it. It'll, it'll push it out much, much faster. So in the morning, you wanna have two glasses of water when you first wake up, first thing. That's, that's number one. Second thing is you wanna make sure that when you're working out, you wanna, like I say in my last video, you wanna make sure that you're doing different stuff so that you can confuse the body. When you confuse the body, the body, see, the body, although it has muscle memory, we, you want to confuse the body so that way the body never gets a chance to really adjust to what you're doing. In terms of staying lean, this is, has huge benefits. You can use it to your advantage. Because what happens is when you are talking about staying lean, you can combine a lot of stuff. And as far as weights and cardio together, now you're talking about a huge uh, beneficial exercise or beneficial method in terms of staying, getting lean and staying lean. The, the weights is going to help to, to burn off fat and it's also going to help in men to, to boost testosterone which is automatically going to help to burn off fat. Um, and then as far as cardio, you want to make sure you're doing cardio. What type of cardio? A lot of people say, well, what type of cardio should I do? Well, the answer is very simple. The cardio that works best for you. Um, it's all types of different cardios to do. I personally like kickboxing cardio because I'm into martial arts. But you have to figure out something that you like to do so that way you'll stick with it, like I said in my, my last video. But, um, but here's something that I will say. One of the best cardio, um, just basic cardio workouts in terms of starving off fat and burning away fat and, and, and pushing that fat out and burning it off, not only just burning it off while you're doing the exercise, but far after you're done, it's still gonna be burning off fat, burning off fat, burning off fat. What is that exercise? That exercise that I'm talking about is actually skipping rope. Skipping rope, 10 minutes, is actually the same, if not better, than doing 30 minutes of cardio. So. You know, if you have a jump rope and you know how to skip rope, I know I don't. So if you have that, you know, you're basically, you can save a lot of time by just skipping rope for about 10 minutes instead of running a treadmill or running around a track for 30 minutes. So that's very, very important too. You wanna to make sure that you're doing cardio. And like I say, jumping rope is a wonderful exercise when it comes to burning off fat. Um, I would say that the next thing that you have to do in order to stay lean to get lean is you have to and this is going to sound counterintuitive but you have to eat fat now what do i mean by eat fat am i talking about mcdonald's go to burger king and taco bell no um you actually want to have good fats like you want to have cashews um avocados i have an avocado avocado every single day you want to have avocados um, um there's uh not canola oil but there's so many different types of oils that you can have as far as avocado oils you can actually have um all types of different there's a whole bunch of different types of fats that you can have peanut butter almonds um cashews and things like that you want to start to incorporate this stuff and start to put it into your diet because the the good fat is actually gonna go inside your body to fight off the bad fat. So, you know, it's almost like, um, it's, like a, it's like a fight between the two. You have the good fat going in to go in and to, 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 to go in and destroy the bad fat, which is a great thing. Also, one uh, healthy fat in particular is, is really, really, really good. Because what happens is, I'm gonna tell you what um, it does. I'm actually going to tell you what it is. It's avocados, which I said I eat one a day. Avocados is amazing because what it does is, it's one of the healthy fats. What it does is, it actually, when you eat an avocado, it actually has something in it. I don't know exactly what it is, but when you eat other foods with an avocado, it will allow you to 
absorb more of the nutrients from the food that you're eating. Like for instance, if you have a pasta dish or you have like pasta dish with you know, maybe some type of carrots or something like that. And we all know carrots is really good for the eyes and have so many different um, health benefits. When you eat an avocado with that, you're going to you're going to absorb so much more nutrients from the the pasta and from the carrots and things like that. It has something in it where it actually absorbs more from that food. So you want to you you want to put avocados as one of the staples in your in your diet. The next thing is you want to make sure that you're eating a lot of vegetables. Make sure that you have the type of vegetables like um, uh, cruciferous um, vegetables. So basically with that, what I mean by that is like cabbage and um, cabbage, kale. You want to make sure you're having vegetables like that. And one that I really, really, really like in particular is cilantro. Cilantro is amazing because what cilantro does is it actually pushes out heavy metals and toxins from the body. It actually like literally is one of the few uh, you know herbs on the planet that actually like pushes or kills heavy metals and harmful toxins in the body. So that's huge when it comes to staying lean and burning off fat. So you want to make sure that you do you're doing that as well because it's toxins it's it's fat it's sugars it's all types of different things that leads to gaining weight besides just fat itself besides just fat which takes me to the next case the next one the next point is as much as you can now we need sugar some form of sugar whether it be honey or stevia or something like that stevia extract but as far as sugar, refined sugars like donuts and cakes and things like that, stay far away from it. Get it out of your diet completely. Now, if you're just starting out, you want to slowly but surely go away from it because I, I want you to kind of wean yourself off of it. But eventually get off of it completely because what it does is, what, it ha what happens is sugar turns directly into fat and it's very, very difficult because Sugar is almost like a drug. The more you eat sugar, the more you want. We all know that. So you have to be very, very careful about your sugar intake. You have to make sure that you, you keep that to as much of a minimum as possible because sugar is very, very damaging. It's going to keep you, it's going to keep fat in your body. It's going to put fat in your body and it's going to keep it there. And the first place it's going to show is here. It's going to show in your stomach. The thing about that, the really wonderful thing about that is that once you start to incorporate these things that I'm teaching you now and showing you now is that you, the first place where you'll see it disappear from is the same place, your stomach. And um, also what's bad about sugar is that sugar is also directly related to aging because what happens is sugar attaches directly, it latches on directly to collagen. And we, all, and we know that collagen it holds the ligaments together, the bones and the joints. It also holds your skin together. So, and then once collagen breaks down, what happens is, what happens is you start to have wrinkled skin and that automatically, of course, makes you appear to be older. So you wanna stay away from sugar as much as you possibly can, refined sugar, stay away from it. If you wanna sweeten something up, like I say, 100% um, raw honey, Manuka honey is good. You can use stevia extract and things like that. But as far as the other stuff, try to look at it like an enemy because it's really bad. Sugar is really, really bad. And you know, so I would say if you're just starting out in fitness and things like that to prevent from like a huge relapse, I would say wean yourself off of it slowly. But if you can and you've been into it for a while, if you can and you have the willpower, just get rid of it completely because it's, it's, it's no good. It's no good. Um, the next thing is, is you want to make sure that you're, when you exercise as far as doing cardio, you want to make sure that you do cardio in a fasted state. See what happens is when you eat something, it's good to eat something before you go to the gym. Like for instance, it's good. I, I normally have like two bananas before I go to the gym because it's really good because it has glucose in it, which is like a... It's, it's a good form of, of, of sugar, um, but it's a natural form of sugar because it's coming from bananas. Now, 
um, it's good to do that. It's going to give you the energy. It's going to give your muscles the energy to, to, to push you through a workout, to get you through a workout. But in terms of uh, with, with uh, cardio and in terms of staying lean and getting as lean as possible, you want to make sure that you do cardio in a fasted state. The reason being is because your body while you're working out and in a fasted state, which is intermittent fasting, what happens is your body has literally no food in it at all. So basically the hours leading up into the time that you're gonna go into the gym, you wanna make sure that you are fasting because what's gonna happen is one, intermittent fasting is gonna, I'm gonna say this, intermittent fasting is, is going to, is really, really good at regenerating and rejuvenating your cells and it's gonna make you look younger, feel better. That's why a lot of people say, a lot of people would think, and they ask me a lot, well, if I intermittent fast, or if I fast while I'm working out, am, am I gonna faint or feel fatigued? No, because of the simple fact that your body is still, it still has fat, your own fat inside of it, which is the perfect reason why you should you should be fasting while you're working out because your body is actually going to, what is it going to feed off of? It's actually going to feed off of the fat that's already in the body. So instead of you going out to eat something and it feeding off of that, it's actually going to feed off the, the fat that's actually stored in your body. That's why it's so important to make sure that you do fasted cardio. Um, and like I said, you can pick which cardio you want to do. Actually, I have a I have a good uh, surprise for you guys at the end of this video, so I want you to watch this video in its entirety. So, um, intermittent fasting, you want to make sure you're doing that, you know. Um, and for those of you who don't know what intermittent fasting is, it's actually when you don't eat for a period of, you know, period of between six to eight hours, and then you work out or something, and then you have a big meal. Um, and you want to make sure you have something like um, maybe a, a cup of fruit and then you want to have something like um, maybe some salmon, maybe a baked sweet potato or something like that. Or you can just make some or whatever you want to make. Just make sure it's a nice, decent sized big meal because you want to you want to get that food back up in you. But you want to make sure you're exercising, though, and particularly cardio in a fasted state that's what's really going to get you lean it's when you're going to see results like crazy you want to see your abs kicking out like crazy and popping out like crazy and so when you mix that with faster cardio one day and then you're doing weightlifting the next day then both of those combined and the drinking water and all the stuff that i mentioned previously you're going to start to see amazing results i promise you guys so that's um that's basically what it is. You want to make sure that eating, you're eating healthy vegetables, organic if you can, as all organic if you can. Drinking water, push out the bad fats. You want to make sure that you're, another one is make sure you are sleeping. Because when you don't sleep, a lot of people, they stay up doing stuff and they don't, we don't take sleep important as, we don't take it as serious as we should, but sleeping is extremely crucial when you're talking about getting lean and staying lean because what happens is when you don't sleep automatically your cortisol levels which is the whole the stress hormone it automatically rises but it rises the the less sleep you get the more your uh cortisol levels rise they rise like crazy and that automatically leads to bloating it leads to um, just it, it also leads it makes you not want to go to the gym and even if you do go to the gym it, it makes you not want to give your all and when you go that's why I call it intensity fitness because when you go to the gym it should be intense every workout should be very intense I, I don't settle for nothing less but an intense workout because if you want an intense body you have to do all your workouts should be intense you should have an intense workout if you don't sleep there's no way possible that you could have an intense workout. You're gonna go in there and you're gonna do a half job. And if you do a half job, you're gonna have half results. So you wanna make sure you're doing a great job and giving it all that you can in your workouts, making it extremely intense, short and intense. That way you'll have an intense body, intense results. So that's very, very crucial. Um, and then what also happens in uh, when you don't get sleep is besides the fact of your cortisol levels rising, 
what happens is something has to also go down you see see so what happens is your cortisol levels rise which is your stress hormone what happens is though also which is even worse is that naturally because of that see a lot of people believe that they they think that estrogen is the opposite of testosterone which because estrogen is the female hormone the uh, predominant female hormone and testosterone is, is the is the the main male hormone the opposite of testosterone is not estrogen it actually is cortisol so when your cortisol levels rise because of lack of sleep what happens is now your testosterone drops significantly in fact um, a study show, showed that if you get five hours of sleep uh, two nights in a row your testosterone levels will drop I think it was between 50 and 60 percent so you have to be really careful and if you want to stay lean having very high testosterone very high testosterone for your body is going to make sure it's going to make sure you're in a good mood and you, you have strong you know uh, sleek abs and that superhero uh, body that I was talking about earlier so make sure that you're, you're doing these things with drinking the water making sure you're working out making sure you're um, doing an intermittent fasting making sure you're doing these things incorporating this stuff into your workouts and implementing these these things that I'm teaching you not just keep storing it storing it as information see a lot of times we we read something or we hear something and we just store it as information well that would be similar to me having a beautiful car just buying a Mercedes and having the key to it and just basically walking around with the key in my pocket well there's no point of having a car and just keeping the key if not you're not going to actually use it so it's the same thing if you once you see me the first time I hear something about a new workout or a new food to try or something new the first thing I do once I get the information is I go and implement it you want to make sure that that you're implementing these things because that's the way you're going to start to see changes guys you have to make sure that you're doing these things so um you know write these things down make sure you're drinking the water make sure you're uh, fasting with your cardio make sure you're doing different stuff do not do the same cardio workouts every every other day or so make sure you're doing different stuff you could you could do kickboxing cardio one day then you could you could do skipping rope like i said which which is a short so if you're pressed for time you want to make sure that you're doing uh you're skipping a roll because it, it burns off fat in a very very short amount of time and so once you start to do these things and putting vegetables and lean meats and stuff like that into your diet then you'll start to see amazing results and this is how we get lean and stay lean and we, we keep off that fat and not only that but it, it tends to stick it tends to stick for a long time so when you get older it's easier to maintain a, a lean body that leaner body you'll start to see just you'll feel better your mind will be more um, have more clarity you'll just feel better just overall you'll feel like a new person new man or woman so that's basically it for this so I want to give you guys the surprise and that's basically what I want to do is I want to show you guys the five um, exercises to me the five best exercises for stand lean what are some of the what are some of the exercises for stand lean i'm going to be showing you guys that next coming up hey guys this is the video that i promised and in this video i'm going to be showing you the five exercises that i think are very effective in helping you to achieve and maintain a lean fit body so the exercise you see me doing here is actually the bicep curl with the front raise the front shoulder raise but I'm doing it with resistance bands to actually engage the stabilizer muscles which is actually going to burn fat faster um, and this is actually working various uh, muscle groups like the shoulders the upper traps um, and the biceps obviously so um, this is really really good if you want to start to carve a lean body this exercises the shoulder gaiters. So what I'm doing here is you see that my fingers, my hands is pressed firmly uh, against the back of my head and I'm trying to get my elbows to touch completely. What this is working is, is working my 
actually my core because I have it, my core in really tight. And you'll see that it's working my upper traps, the back of my shoulders and my chest at the same time, uh, particularly the upper chest. So this is a really, really good workout if you want to start to burn fat and also to um, help the muscles to work better together um, and help it to function better. This exercise is called the chest pass. We call it that for obvious reasons. Um, this is really, really good. You keep the core in very tight. It's really, really good for the back. It's good for the triceps. It's good for the biceps, for the chest. And it's really, really good for the lats, as you can see. So um, really start to incorporate this into your workouts, and you'll start to see yourself, um, you know, burning fat, building muscle, and uh, building lean muscle, light, lean muscle, but strong you know, hard muscle is at the same time. This exercise, I love it because it's just a basic push-up. But um, when I come up, I'm basically um, executing a knee raise. So I'm basically working the entire upper body, my core as well. And I'm actually doing the knee raise to work the quads and to work the lower uh, region of the abdominals. And um, having the abdominus rectum is activated. So, um, you know, just make sure that your core is tight and just um, keep your body straight and firm. And um, make sure that you raise your knee uh, as high as possible to your chest as high as possible. And this is really, really, really great for um, sculpting a, a lean body, which is what we're trying to do. So start to use this. And last, but certainly not least, this is the, I call it the, the ab twist plank. It's basically like a plank, but I'm staying on one arm and I'm twisting, so I'm working the obliques. And with the knee raise, I'm actually working the lower abs as well. So that's basically those five exercises that I promised you guys. I hope that you enjoyed uh, this video. And I hope that you guys subscribe to my channel. I hope that you like this video and I hope that you find um, this video very informative. And, um, you know, so just please subscribe to me and I hope that you all um, keep working hard and intend to win. And I'll see you guys in the next video.